Dam view from the Pacific Ocean to Spokane. For salmon to swim home to Spokane is about a 700 river mile journey. Each year for thousands of years, salmon have returned to Spokane. In 2012, there are expected to be over half a million salmon returning up the Columbia River from their several years adventure in the Pacific Ocean. Only in the last about 100 years have the salmon not been able to swim all the way home to Spokane. Now they need a short taxi ride, the last 125 miles from Chief Joseph Dam to Spokane. Chief Joseph Dam is one of the two out of the 11 U.S. dams on the Columbia River that do not yet have fish passage. In the first 300 miles of the salmon swim home to Spokane, they go around the four dams on the Oregon-Washington border, Bonneville, the Dalles, John Day, and McNary dams. The dams on the Columbia River produce incredible amounts of electricity, about 1,000 megawatts at Bonneville and McNary, and about 2,000 megawatts at the Dalles and John Day dams. Here is a view of some of the countryside as salmon make their way up the Columbia River in Washington state. The salmon swim past the tri-cities of Pasco, Kennewick, and Richland in the lake behind McNary Dam. Just north of Richland, they enter one of the last free-flowing sections of the Columbia River called the Hanford Reach. There, many Chinook salmon spawn each year. The salmon swim past the nuclear facilities at Hanford that include 53 million gallons of high-level radioactive waste, 25 million cubic feet of buried solid radioactive waste, polluted groundwater, and highly toxic and radioactive materials leaking into the Columbia River. Hanford is where the plutonium was made for the second nuclear bomb dropped on Japan during World War II. This bomb exploded over Nagasaki, killing over 40,000 men, women, and children. Further up the river, salmon swim past the Highway 24 bridge between Othello and Yakima. At about mile 400, the salmon swim past Priest Rapids Dam, almost 1,000 megawatts.
Twenty miles later, the salmon swim past Wanapum Dam south of the I-90 bridge at Vantage, just over a thousand megawatts. Wanapum means river people for the people of the great fishing towns along the Columbia River in this area who lived here for thousands of years. I enjoy fishing out here. This is one of my first times here in Wanapum. Um, the idea of sockeye being able to swim the whole uh, Columbia River all the way up to Spokane is, uh, is very, um, um, it, it is a possibility. At about mile 450, salmon swim past Rock Island Dam just south of Winter. This was the first dam built on the Columbia River. It was built in 1933 and included fish passage, almost 700 megawatts. 20 miles further, just north of Wenatchee, the salmon swim past Rocky Reach Dam, almost 1,300 megawatts. At about 520, the salmon swim past Wells Dam near Pateros a bit more than 800 megawatts. At about mile 550 is Chief Joseph Dam near Bridgeport, about 2,600 megawatts. No fish passage is provided at Chief, Chief Joseph Dam. This leaves a short taxi ride of about 125 miles for the salmon to get back to their home in Spokane. Imagine seeing tens of thousands of freaking fish out there. It'd be awesome. It would be cool. God, we could come down here and eat lunch. That would be awesome. That's how it should be. There's a great blue heron looking down his nose as he checks the silver in the morning sun. The paddles flashing and the muskrat splashing. The kingfish scream as the salmon runs. 
Sailing down a silver river, autumn colors kiss the sun. Came a floating down a rainbow, a rolling 